Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 41 in chapter 28. Chapter 28 is about the source of magnetic field. And there we can see we have a part of a wire, right? The length is D and the corner is I is located in the this location, right? And now we need to find the magnetic field that's in P position and Q position. So part one, we need to find the magnetic field is at the Q position. So how can we do that? As we talk about in this case, we can see the current just, uh, uh, this wire can be split by infinity small fractions, right? And then we can consider Bill Savart laws. And for each small fraction, let's say it's D X, right? And in I component. And then in the Q position, we can consider it's R, it just has X component, so X and I. Now we input DL and R inside. We can say this is DL cross R, right? And then this is a unit vector. We can write it in this way. And then input DL and R inside. You can say this is I cross I, zero. So very easy. You can find it's zero, right? And then the next one um, determines the magnetic field at a position P. So at a position P, we can say still the small fraction DL is DXI. But how you determine the R? The R is from this uh, small fraction to the position we interest P. So we write down the location for P, 0, Y, write down the location for this small fraction, negative X, 0. So we can write R as uh, XI plus YJ, right? So X component is X, Y component is Y. And then we get the R, the, the magnitude for this vector in this uh, function. Now, similarly, we can input DL and R inside, right? So you can see X, I cross I zero. So now only, uh, only component survival is I cross J, I cross J key component, right? So you write it there and then it become DX, Y, right? Yes, DX and the Y. And then do the integral, we get the answer there. Thank you.